Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello everyone, welcome back to 2AM Tarot. I want to thank everybody for coming in tonight. Ah, we are in this October month of a little kind of, you know, toxic energy, toxic situations. You know, this October, we're, we're in the solar eclipse, we're in cutting season, we're in things gotta go for us to go through our next portal, our next situation. 1111 portal's coming, that is the release fly let's do this so that is the energy that is coming in right now how is everyone doing 2 a.m tarot and we are doing the reading today on libra so welcome welcome libra welcome welcome everyone i want to thank everyone for coming back everyone for coming in really you know giving this new channel a pretty little look and i thank you all for doing that please make sure you like subscribe and hit the notification bar. If you would like to see other topics in this room, just send me a message or write it in the comments. But I mostly do the love and the self-love for yourself. This is Chakra Intuitive Healer Reader Distance Taylor. So I want to welcome everyone back in today. We are then going to get right into it for my Libras. So I have you guys really in this lover's card. You know, my cards get eaten up, which is crazy because it's a lot of the energies that I do. But new stacks are coming. So with the Libra card, it shows you how much energies go through and what we are connected to. So with this lover's card here, Libra, it's like you're still thinking about an old love. An old love that keeps pulling you back in a way. Whether this is you or your person keep going back to an old love. But this love is pulling you. The love is strong right now because this love we have for October is a lot of things we're Xing out that we have a lot of love for. I feel like you've been planting a lot of seeds. I feel like you've been really giving yourself a chance to really put yourself first this time. Because this love here, whether this is your ex or someone you're in a situation that's stuck to their ex, you've just been giving a lot of love to yourself now. And you're like, I got to put me first. I got to start planting for me. I got to start sowing some weaves here and planting some seeds because that situation drained the shit out of you. Whatever this is that your person, your ex person is now to you or someone that's in a situation that's their ex, they're, yeah, drained. It made no sense. It's like you're finally getting out of something because it's like your person or you are finally getting out of something where it made no sense for six years, six months, since June, where it was just, the tree was going backwards. The tree wasn't even growing. And now you got all this clarity, this mother of pentacles. All this clarity came in where it's like, now I know what I want. It's like you was going through a test of love. What is love? What is love? What is what 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 is it supposed to mean? What how am I supposed to have it? Where is it supposed to go? How is it supposed to feel? And and that is the energy you're in when it comes to the mother of pentacles, because it's like you're going through a re rebirth of the mother of pentacles, the rebirth of what you need for yourself. Because there was a lot of things here when it comes to the mother of wands, seeds you've planted where they weren't growing. It was like you was, you was in this masculine and feminine energy and gender has no tarot, so uh, no gender. But when it came to the mother of wands, Lost my concentration. Mother of Wands here in reverse. It was like too controlling. Too, too much of it has to be this way. It has to be that way. So now when it comes to the energy coming in for this love to come in, whether it's you or your person, it's like I can see it now. It's like you saw all how you went backwards in a way with your ex-lover or your person went back to a person and left you for that. Where it showed you how much of nothing was growing. How much of things weren't making sense. It was too much control. Too much control when it comes to just things were pulling you back. It's almost like someone had two ropes and just kept pulling you back into this ex situation. Or your person kept going back into this situation. Knowing it didn't make sense, Libra. Knowing it just was like, it's not working. Now you're at this wheel of fortune where it's like you're ready to move forward. You're ready to really spin the wheel. You're ready to have this new love. When it comes to your throat chakra, Libra, I'm going to open that up for you. When it comes to that, I feel like you guys have been talking too much. I feel like you guys have really been in the energy of trying to get your point across, but it's not getting across. Now go silent. <laughs> go silent now, my Libras. Okay? 
because this is going to help you make your wheel of fortune go forward. That's why I said you have this beautiful blessings of new wands coming in, whether it be with this person, them coming back to you, or you having a new love coming in. You, 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 you're putting you first. You're like, I can't keep wasting my time. I want to go forward. I, I know what I want. I want this love. I want this connection. I want this family. I want this, whatever it is you want in a wholeness. You're getting it now because you're going for it. You're not waiting for other people because all they're doing is trying to put you backwards with the Ace of Pentacles. And I feel like for a minute, Libras, you've been sitting waiting to get clarity from whether the situation when it came to your ex or whether the other person being in a situation waiting for clarity and just wasting time. And it's just like, why are we going backwards? Why am I sitting in things that I don't want to even be in? Why am I wasting my time? And that's where it's like that Ace of Pentacles is like, all you kept thinking, all you kept seeing is yourself growing backwards. It's like nothing was moving in life. Everything was staying stagnant. Like, oh no, this got to go. It got to change. And that's what this month is doing as well. When it comes to the solar eclipse, it's like no more backwardsness. No more of this stagnant, stagnancy. I got to go forward. People will just keep you in their backwardsness and not care because they're comfortable in it. They don't want to move out of it yet. So as long as you staying behind them, cool, you're not going nowhere, cool, I got more time to do what I want to go do. And that's the energy right now, Libra. And it's like, what the heck? Like, I'm thinking we're growing. I'm th you know, if you're in a relationship or you're in a situation or whatever it is, my Libras, it's, it's just you're just looking at it like, what was I doing? Why am I still sitting here waiting for this person to show me different or for me to be thinking my ex is going to show me different or for that person over there ready to, or the person that's in that, other situation that's like why am i in that the tower everything is falling you're either you're in something or your person's in something it's falling now libra it's falling apart it's done doo, 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 doo. it's all done but you have been getting pulled back and forth back and forth back and forth Daughter of Cups. I feel like you're really planting planting new seeds. You're really fulfilling new cups. I don't know if you're dating or you're waiting for your other person. But I feel like either your ex, when it comes to your ex, boom, you're dating. When it comes to that other person you're waiting for that's stuck in that other situation, I feel like their person is starting to date. Their person is starting to fill their cups and your person is getting ready to fill cups to come towards you. So this is the energy that's really letting everything move forward now. And you not wasting time, but just really letting yourself move forward and let it flow is a beautiful thing. Because you're not, you're not being upset with yourself like, okay, this is this and this is that. You're just letting it flow now. Because a lot of things in the past, for the past eight months, eight years, since August, sh shit just was broken for the eight, eight, eight of cups in reverse. It just kept going backwards. With the Eight of Cups. Nothing was fulfilling up. It's like either your ex or the person that they was with. Not, everything was just rotten. Everything was just no love. No blessing. No desires. No wishes. It just was shh, all cups turned up, down, down, broken, stomped on. No nothing. So either it was you or your person that's in that situation. It's like time just wasted. That you can't even get back now. You can't get none of that back. At all. At all, at all. Yeah, no sunlight. You're getting that sunlight now, Libra. I feel like you've been just wanting happiness for a minute. And no happiness, no contentment, no enlightenment from either. Whether you're in a situation or that past person that's in that. No happiness, Libras. At all. No sunlight, no contentment, no love. No enlightenment. No anything. So it's like both of you have been suffering. Whether waiting for your person or you're the person. Both of you have been suffering in this. And it's like no more suffering. Let the love in. Because it's closing door time for this month. I'm telling you guys you have to close doors on things right now. Because if you don't you're going to repeat a cycle. 
It's too much controlling backwards. You got to ask yourself, Libras, what are you holding on to from the past? Because it seems like they got the key to you. They come squawking in whenever they want to, whether it be your ex or your person stuck in that situation. This is where it's at, the control. And this month is such a controlling month. Tell me what you're ready to let go. I want you to write it in the comments. Tell yourself what you want to let go. Say it out loud outside, real, real loud, so the universe hears it and let it go, Libra. Because you're keeping yourself stagnant right now. Look, three of swords. Because whoever that person is, whether you're waiting for that person or your person, they have somebody else in it. Whether it be you, that other, per that other person that's in something with you, or your ex. You and there's something else. So I feel like it's like all newness for you more than this oldness with either of them. Whether you're in something or you're a person that's in something. It's like you're making a choice now because I feel like you're seeing the bigger picture now, Libra. Yeah, the death card. Someone doesn't want to start a new rebirth. Either your ex or your person that you're waiting for that's stuck with it. Someone doesn't want to change. And I feel like when it comes to either you, but I feel like this is more of that person you're waiting for or the ex to leave that other situation. It's like they're scared to leave too. They're scared to start over in their life. When it comes to starting over in the death card. Right now, Libras, put yourself first. Because all that energy is going to come forward towards you. Either your ex or your person that you're waiting for that's stuck over there with their little third party person or main person. Let it, let it be for right now. Don't waste your time on it. Because you're, you're a queen or you're a king. And I feel like you have a lot more things. But it's like releasing. It's more about learning the game of releasing. Namaste Libras. Namaste.